Hey everyone, it's Lisa and it's Thursday. I cannot believe this week's gone by so fast. But anyway, I was getting ready to go out with the kids and take them. We are going to Taco Bell. We love Taco Bell. We love Mexican food, as you can tell. And my new favorite thing is to get, um, I don't know if you guys have ever been there and seen the fresco menu that has um, like pico de gallo and stuff on it, all the tomatoes and everything. I get a bean like get a taco but instead of meat I get beans and then that fresco and it's so good and I feel like it's pretty good for you and then they get some different stuff so I wasn't planning on doing a video but I looked over and saw this which is my empties bag that I keep in my tub I have to put the stuff every time I get to take a bath I have to take everything out and then put it back in because I use it to put my curling irons and a few things in <laughs> but anyway um, so I was going to go through my empties with you real quick and um, so here we go okay first of all and I think I might have two of these in here is the sea booth uh, ginger sugar body scrub and it's yucky because I just take it right out of the tub and put it in there but I use every little bit and I use this every time I take a shower and it's just it's so moisturizing and I feel like it's good at exfoliating like the dead skin off and um, it does like if I when I do get out in the Sun we went to the beach on Monday I believe it will take the Sun off quicker but you know it's dead skin anyway and I'm just gonna have to get over it <laughs> used to I would have never wanted that but now I'm getting better about that okay and I threw everything in here but I do really like these. I get these at Ulta, and they are the dual-tipped cotton applicators. Um, they are, they have like a round end and then a pointed end. And I love to use those to put on my eyelashes. Instead of using the toothpick, I have started using those to go and, you know, tuck in the corners of the eyelashes. And that way I can kind of run it across the lash also and get any extra glue. And, um, and then I use the other side to like clean up or something, but I just really use these a lot now. So love those. This hairspray, the Healthy Sexy Hair, it's got the argan oil in it. It's the touchable kind that you could use. Um, this is the kind of hairspray I use at night after I put my hair in Velcro rollers. And I did put um, two photos of my hair in Velcro rollers on my Instagram if you wanna see how I roll it. It's just like I've done before. Um, the only thing, I don't think I do anything different. I don't roll my whole head. I put, I think, like five rollers in it and um, just sit and watch whatever TV or do whatever I'm going to do with those in. But this is what I spray my hair in. If I do it with the heavier spray, I don't like the way it turns out. Okay, this lotion, which was the Nivea Skin Firming Body Lotion. I did like this, but I've moved on to that um, C Booth the four-in-one lemon sugar lotion that's my favorite now but this was a good one I used every bit of it um, let's see this Aveda smooth infusion shampoo one of my favorite products I just have so many good shampoo and conditioners going on right now and I just got a new one I've been doing real good I didn't go to Ulta at all last week and I just ran in there one time this week because I wanted to look at the new Urban Decay lipsticks so I won't tell you about that but I will say I've only been in there once this week I'm trying to cut down on the 50 100 150 200 dollar you know little shopping sprees so that I can buy a couple of big things like my shoes and stuff like that so that's what I've been doing but I did I have bought a few little things I just I'm trying to make sure it's something I really want and I'm not just getting it just to see how it is or you know just think about it a little bit more okay this and i'm going to have to order this because this one i got at ulta it's the second one i had gotten but it is the dr bronner's magic soaps and this is the 18 in 1 hemp almond pure castile soap made with organic oils this i got from tammy uppies beads this is what i wash my brushes in and i will do a video on how i do it because i do it a little different than i've ever done before but this is like nothing else. This beats baby shampoo, this beats um, brush cleaner, this beats everything, and it keeps your brushes real nice and soft and clean. So that's what I use this for. 
um, another one of the body scrubs. So I'm on my third one since I've told you guys about it. Another healthy, <laughs> sexy hair. So that shows you how much I like that. I've kind of moved on to the, um, the balm. That one that's real, not the strong hold, but the light hold. I love the way it smells. So I'm actually going to go throw these away and get, move my little, get okay. clean up my area. I'll be right back. My toothpaste, this is my favorite, favorite kind. It's the Sensodyne Pro Namel. I love the container, and as you can see, you can get every little bit out. But my teeth have always been real sensitive um, to, I guess, hot and cold. But even when I was brushing my teeth, and I use the Sonicare toothbrush, and um, anyway, a long time ago, they told me to use this and it will help build the enamel back on your teeth. And it, it says strengthens and rehardens enamel, protects against the effects of acid erosion, which, you know, I drink Diet Sundrop. So I love this toothpaste and I just buy it over and over again. I don't even think about anything else. I just buy that one. Okay, let's see what I've got in here. Um, this was one of the um, body wash or sour gels that Chef Kathy sent me. And um, of course it's gotten cloudy now, so it makes my light drown everything out. But it's the Milk Talk from the um, Etude House, I think is how you say it. And this was the banana. And even though I use, and I was gonna show this to you, this is the razor that I use, the Venus Breeze, that already has like the, you don't have to use shaving cream because it has that, you know, little bar around it. But I still try to use a little something, some kind of shower wash or something when I'm using this so that I, it's a smooth shave and <laughs> I sound like a commercial, but you know what I mean. And it just smells good, everything. Okay, this is the nail polish remover. I get the one for natural nails. Even though the, when you get the one that is just like um, pure acetone, I know that takes it off, you know, really quick, but I don't like the way it, it just seems like as soon as the cotton ball, especially with dark polishes, as soon as the cotton ball hits your nail, it just disintegrates the polish. And it makes it get down in the cracks and crevices of your nails. And it almost makes it harder for me to get it off. So I prefer using the natural nail remover. And um, to go along with that, Tammy, we were talking about parabens, silicones, you know, different things that, you know, what we worry about and what we don't worry about as much. And she was saying that she does not use any acetone in her house, that it's very toxic. And, you know, she went on and on. She knows about it better than I am. But I, so that just reaffirmed that I don't want to use that anymore because I have used it in the past. Um, this is the little hand soap that I use. I get these at Ulta. Um, I think they're three for something. And then I'll use my coupon and um, I just keep it by my sink. But I like the foam. That's my favorite type of hand wash because it's just real quick and easy. Um, this Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorant. Um, I think this one, yeah, once they get down to where you can see that center thing, I think this one was even falling out. This is the best deodorant I have ever, ever, ever used. And I have sensitive underarms. I have had issues with my underarms before. I have an underarm video. So I take special care of my underarms and this has been good. I don't sweat, I don't smell bad. And I know a lot of you don't wanna use an antiperspirant, but I do and I love this. And one of these, even though I think it's $19, a lot of times Nordstrom will run them on sale. I've gotten it at Dillard's before, I've ordered them, but Ulta has them. So, you know, you can get it right there where the cashmere mist is sold. One of these lasts forever. like months and months probably like three months and it works so well i've heard of men um, using this so. the living proof i'm getting down to the bottom a long time ago thing here now the living proof little system that i got for frizz and eh, i didn't like it as much as i like the ag or the keratin shampoo that chef kathy sent me um the orbe all the different ones that i'm using now i didn't like it as much it didn't wasn't real impressive and i did use it for the two weeks Okay, what is this? Okay, this is the Body Shop Shea Shower Cream. Um, my friend Anne Marie sent this to me and I loved this. I love that smell. And I loved that this was like a cream. And I, that's one of those things that I use when I'm shaving my legs. And I'll usually just, you know, rub all over, scrub all over with it. Okay, 
Um, these, this is a little case for my 120S self-adhesive lashes. Love these lashes, but I have been using, I thought I brought the little case out here today to show you, but I guess I didn't. Today I'm using the Demi Wispies from Ardell, which are basically the same lash with no band. And on days like today, when I'm doing a simple look, this is John's favorite makeup look. Every time I do this makeup, he gives me a compliment. And he doesn't, it's neat, he doesn't compliment my makeup like he does if I'm wearing a smoky eye or something. He'll say, your makeup looks good today. But when I put this makeup on, he always says, you look pretty today. And the other day I had it on, this exact same makeup and my hair back, and he said it like three times. So that's why I did it again today. But anyway, when I'm doing a more natural look, I don't want the band. I want my lashes to go right down into my lashes so I can do a thinner liner and it's just a lighter look. But I do love these. Okay, um, this was the Revlon base coat. And I think there was a little bit left, um, but it was getting thick and kind of yucky. Okay, um, these are eyeliners. And this is the Fabuliner Brown. And I'm trying to think, I think this ran on me. And then this one, the Hourglass Script, I think I just used it all. I think I used it till it was gone, but I think this one ran on the corners, like if your eyes water. Um, and you don't want that, if you got winged liner, you don't want your wing all droopy and runny. So I'm pretty sure it's so long ago. I think that's what it was. Um, let's see, an empty Anastasia Blonde Brow Gel. Let's see, an empty, very empty Rafisa. This is the Retin-A that I use and I just love it. And I've got a, a recent skincare video that I did, but this is the only Retin-A that I have used. And I wanted to say too, um, that I didn't really know this when I did my um, Retin-A video, is when I got my facial the other day, the Fire and Ice, I was talking to Megan, the girl that was doing it, and she has worked there since I've been going in there. I think she was the one who actually helped me the first time I ever went in there. And um, at that time, she just worked the front desk, and then she went to school, and she became a esthetician. And um, we were talking about the difference between retinol and retin-A, and she said that retinol can never penetrate the actual um, skin cell, that retin-A is the only one that can get in the skin cell and make a change, a real change in your skin. And then we were talking about how people spend so much money on Shiseido and Chanel and all these high-end skin cares. And she said that what happens is they are real good at putting um, plumpers, like hyaluronic acid and all these different plumpers in their skin creams so that you get that immediate pretty effect. And it reminded me of the Meaningful Beauty when I tried to do the Meaningful Beauty. Remember at first I really liked it and I felt like my skin was so plump and youthful looking. But then I ended up, what the, the real downfall for me was, is I started getting acne on my cheeks because I wasn't using my Retin-A. And I didn't realize that the Retin-A was keeping that acne away until I went to the dermatologist. And she said, you've got to get back on your Retin-A. And um, so I just thought that was interesting to throw out there. Okay, um, this is the pumpkin enzyme scrub. They had given me a sample by Glow Therapeutics. This is one of their best sellers. Right now I'm using the one, the brightening scrub, but this was really, really nice. And it's gentle. So if you have sensitive skin, um, the way I even thought about trying it is there was a lady in front of me who was probably in her, I would say late 60s, and she was buying it and she was saying how much she loved it. That it was just, she felt like it was a good scrub. And she used Abaji. She was getting some Abaji stuff, I think. Oh, she was either getting abaji or skin suticles or something, but she was saying this is what helps her exfoliate. And um, so I tried it and I really liked it. John used it. He actually, it was funny, he has a bald head, <laughs> which I've told you before, and he had gotten sunburnt playing golf. And so I had told him to use one to help scrub that dead skin off of his head. And um, that might be TMI. <laughs> I may need to get his permission for that. But anyway, so that's what we, we used at that time, but I ended up getting something else, but this is really something good for you to try. I think it was probably a little too gentle for me. You know, I'm brutal. And, um, okay, this is um, the Enamel Colgate 
and Sensitive Colgate. And I did use these because I get these from the dentist. So even though the Pronamel is my favorite, I do use these when they give them to me just because. So, and that is the end of my empties. So I'm gonna throw this all the way and then do a quick outfit of the day and let you go. I'll be right back. Okay, so today I am wearing, and you can see straight through it, <laughs> um, but it's more like that because the sun is coming in. God, that is terrible. But anyway, today I'm wearing the black, the ribbed tank, um, and this is by Rag and Bone. I got it at Beanie and C, so I had gotten a white one and a black one on sale. And then my jeans are the ones that I just showed you the other day. They are the Current Elliott, um, the Skinny Love Destroy. And let me okay. back up. And I love them because you can see how much better they fit me because they come up high. And I'm so um, hourglass. I mean, I have the hips. So it's, I don't know, it's just bad when things hit me right there. They just don't ever feel good on me. But these just feel awesome. I've got on my... Um, Let's see, let me try to get past my couch here. I have on the um, Bell by Sigerson Morrison shoes just for comfort. And then I have not changed out of this yet. I'm getting ready to change. I think I'm getting ready to change back into my blue one. But um, so just a very casual outfit. Okay, and then for accessories, I have on these, which are some of my favorite earrings. They're the Dean Davidson enamel studs. And like I've told you before, they just fit I mean to be so thick and big they pack an impact and then um, they just stay on your ear so well so I love those and then I did I got into my Jenny bird today Jean and Denny I kind of Jean Jean and Denny Den, Dean and Jenny I kind of think of them together in my mind because they're both Canadian designers that I love and um, so this is Jenny's this is the Lunar Warrior Wrap, and you can get it in gold and silver. I have these on my website, and I love it, and I get so many compliments on this. I think a lot of it's because I talk with my hands, so when I go places, people always notice this bracelet. And um, then this one is one of the Triple Wrap bracelets that are also on my website by Lealena, and I also have a blue one and a brown one, and I love these just for you know, add them with something else. And then the double cuffs are from, I got them in that package from Four Seasons, Five Things. And um, so I, kinda, I felt like this and this kind of went with that. And, oh goodness, I need to drink. <laughs> and um, so I guess that's it. And I do want you to know you can't see through that, this shirt that much when I get out. Anyway, um, the lipstick I'm wearing today is one I haven't worn a lot, but I've been working with a girl named Fama in New York, and she works at the Saks there. I got her name from Tori at Tori Bell um, for designer shoes because there is literally nowhere around here to go look or ask, and I wanted to really work with someone instead of just ordering online, and um, she had this on in one of the pictures that she sent me the other day, and it just looks so pretty, and it's the pink label by... Laura Mercier, and I was thinking it's kind of similar to the Rose Amethyst when you put it on. It's just a good, or angel, just a good basic pink, kind of like a blue pink. But, um, so that's what I'm wearing So I hope today. you guys have a good day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.